Hello everyone, today I'll be giving a tutorial on how to make an animated sci-fi material in Unreal Engine 4, like this one. Alright, so we're inside Photoshop CC, and uh, here's an image I've created earlier. Uh, so inside the Channels tab, you'll notice there is uh, three channels, red, green, and blue. And inside each channel, we're going to make an image, and that image is what's going to be rotated separately. So this will rotate separately to this one. And uh, your end result will look something to the, similar to this. And uh, to make something like this, go create a new texture. Make sure it's going to be square. It has to be square. And then go to the new textures channels. And go onto one of the separate channels, one of the red, green, or blue channels. And just paint in something. So this is going to give you red. And green will give you green. And that will obviously overlay. But... Uh, this isn't what we're looking for, like the texture we're actually using is this one, and this one, and this one. So this result doesn't actually matter to us. Just gonna close this down. And uh, so after you've created your image, hopefully it looks something similar to this, uh, save it out, and open up Unreal Engine 4. So the engine is gonna open up to the projects section and we're going to make a new project and it's going to be a blueprint first person project as you can see new project blueprint first person and we don't need any starter content so we're going to set that with no starter content and i'm going to call it rgb just for the sake of the tutorial and we're going to create the project Alright, so here we are inside Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is the character's starting point, so we're just going to change this. And I'll put it inside the shaded area, just because it's a lot easier to see this material inside a shaded area, as it is uh, transparent. Go to the Textures folder inside the Content Browser, and import our texture that we made. Now this is my texture. And we're also going to need to make a new folder and call that materials. So right click inside the materials folder and create a material. I'm just going to call that RGB. We're going to open that up and here is the material window. Uh, before we do anything in this like that, we're going to go back to the text folder and drag in the texture that we created. And then we're going to maximize this window. Alright, so here we are inside the material editor. Um, to begin, we're going to click on the background and go to the material settings. So you go to blend mode and change that to additive and shading model to unlit. We're also going to tick two sided. Uh, this is because it's going to be a transparent material. Um, so first things first, we're going to drag off the UV section of the texture sample and type in rotator. And that gives us a rotator node. Uh, we're going to select both of these. Control W will duplicate it. And we're going to duplicate it twice. Um, so from here we're going to grab the red channel from the texture sample and drag that off and type in add. This is going to give us an add node, which we can use to add together the red and green channels. And then we have to add the blue channel, so we're going to make another add node, and add in the blue channel. From that, we will just connect straight to the emissive color. Alright, so here we have our texture inside the preview. And you'll notice it's tiling. Uh, to get rid of that, just save the material and close the material editor, go to textures, go to your texture and in the texture section go to the drop down section and go to the x axis tiling method change that to clamp and change y axis tiling method to clamp also now save that close it and open up our material again 
And we should see in the preview that uh, it has been fixed. So it's not tiling in every direction again, it's just creating one tile. Um, to get the elements to rotate at separate speeds, just click on the rotator node and change the speed section to something different. So for this one we're going to go negative 0.5 and for the next one we're going to go 0.6. So here's the result. And you'll see they're all rotating at separate speeds. So that's a pretty nice result there. Uh, one other thing is you probably don't want it as white. So we're just going to select all the nodes, drag them over, and from this add node, drag it out and type in multiply. Uh, from the multiply node, we're going to drag that out and type in constant vector. We'll get the constant three vector node. Uh, I'm going to drag that multiply node into the emissive color and click on the constant three vector. Click on the uh, black bar here, which is actually the color, and we'll just change that to something like a, a light blue. Gives us quite a nice sci fi feel. So here's our resulting material. Um, as you might assume, we can add in the multiply nodes between the adds, so we can make each section a different color. So we can have this outer bar to be any color we choose. We can do that with all of them. So uh, we'll just save the material. Close the material. And also to apply it to something in the world, I've just created a plane which I will now import. Now I don't need its materials or textures. Close that window, drag it in. I'll just rotate it towards the character so we can see it once we spawn. Go to the materials and drag in our new material. Let's click play, and here we have our material. As you can see, it's spinning nicely and they're all at different speeds. That's uh, the result we were looking for. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.